Hey babes, so listen, I've been wanting to make this project for a long time. <laughs> when I was in college, I took a web development minor, which basically just meant I had like a certain number of classes that were just web design and dev. And in one of them, I really wanted to do this project where I made this quiz and I couldn't do it because it was going to require like a ton of JavaScript knowledge that I did not have the time or energy to learn. But with Webflow, I realized I could do this pretty easily. So I am gonna show you this thing I made. So the idea I had in college and the idea I have revisited recently is a quiz where you take a look at a constellation, you get the stars, you get the lines between them, and you have to figure out which of the 88 constellations it is. But to do this, I was gonna need a CMS quiz um, and one that uses images. Now, I'm a really big fan of not uh, reinventing the wheel and, uh, you know, trying to do something that somebody else has already figured out. And Timothy Ricks, who's like the Webflow d wizard um, grandfather, he's not old, he's like Webflow community uh, dad who knows how to, how to fix all the things and we'll build you a, a porch just because you um, said that you like to sit outside. Um, anyway, he's a really good presence in the Webflow community and he already has a video out about how to make an interactive CMS quiz in Webflow. And that's actually where I started for um, this project. So this is the CMS quiz that is clonable already. He also has like a just UI version so you can follow along and build it as you go. Um, so this is kind of the base I started from. Um, it's a CMS quiz. So each of these is a CMS item um, and it uses JavaScript to tell you like which one is correct. Um, and once you click on it, you can't click anything else. It tells you the correct answer. I really liked this idea. I also like how it stores the information over here. I thought that was really clever. At the end of the quiz, um, there's a little pause and then it shows you how many you got right or wrong. I love that too. Um, but I knew for this quiz, I was gonna need to add like a photo component to each of the CMS items and have like the starting just line picture and then the answer picture to go over it, which would be the one that had like the constellation imagery. Um, I also, instead of having all of these sort of in one page, I wanted them to kind of sort of stack on top of each other, similar to the, the Finder video, if you have watched other videos on my channel. Um, basically, instead of having them all in a list here, I wanted them to like you only see one question at a time, basically. Uh, and in, as a part of that, I also um, didn't really want to have this side bar. I was like, maybe let's put it on top. So I'll show you my starting design for this whole idea. One thing I should say up top is that my Figma files that I make for myself are a lot more disorganized than Figma files I make for clients. And that is mostly just because I am moving at the speed of light on a lot of these passion projects. So that's that. So for the quiz, I first wanted to have this sort of screen, just sort of like a loading screen that just kind of tells you what you're about to get into. Do you know your constellations? A little icon. When you start the quiz, the next screen would be the first question. Um, so up here shows you kind of halfway through the quiz. Um, you would see the line of the constellation, the title, what constellation is this? And you would be able to pick which one you think it is. When you clicked on it, it would go green. Um, and then it would show you the actual image of that specific constellation. Then you could hit next, and then it would take you on to the next question. I definitely saw this being more of a mobile based quiz. So I definitely wanted it to look really, really good on mobile. What actually ended up happening is I did not do 20 because I ran out of time, but I did do uh, 15 of just constellations in the northern sky that were like out right now here in the summertime in the US. So for all of these, I grabbed line art and image art from a open source software called Stellarium. If you are at all interested in astronomy, that is an amazing resource uh, just to learn the night sky and to see what's going to be in the night sky in your location tonight. The other great thing about it is um, that it had all these images for constellation art too. So I grabbed those and um, created all of 
that sort of art within Figma. So it was all in the color scheme and loaded all of that. So with all that design in mind, I want to show you kind of how it turned out. And I'm actually like so stoked about it. So this is this is what it looks like. Um, so I added a few more things from the design. One of them is like your standard particles.js so that you have like sort of this interactive element in the preloader screen. I don't know if you'd call this the preloader screen. I guess it's like the like the pre-quiz screen, but I just love this library and it seemed like it would fit really well for a constellation themed project. So I knew I wanted to include it somehow. And I think having it on the preloader keeps it from being too distracting in the actual quiz. Um, so that's that, you've got your preloader, if you hit start quiz, it brings you to your first question, what constellation is this? Um, so it's got sort of these uh, these big arms, those are wings. Um, and down here, it's got a long neck and a little head. This constellation is Cygnus the Swan. Um, if you wanna go ahead and go through all the quiz, this, this overview will include spoilers. So if you wanna take it first, go ahead and do that. But if I hit Cygnus the Swan, it turns green. It says, you're right, way to go. And if I hit next, that question slides off and you get the next question. You'll also notice this little thing updated here. All that is um, code that Tim had in there. Uh, some things that are different here are the images and also the colors that come up on the questions, whether you get it right or wrong. Um, so I'm going to intentionally get this one wrong. Let's say it's boo cheese. <laughs> uh, so if you get it wrong, it shows an X around the one you've clicked, but it also makes it red. It's red down here too, and it'll highlight in green the correct answer. I just wanted to make it like really clear which one was the correct answer when you're, you're clicking on this here. Um, so yeah, when you get to the end of the quiz, it pulls up this, which should be full screen. So I might see why that's doing that. So I guess we're gonna have to figure out why it's doing that together. But yeah, it gives you your score, full screen. You can't do anything else, but hit play again, uh, which refreshes the page and brings you back to the loading screen. So this is kind of how it is in the back end. In the original clonable, I think like all the questions were on the left side, all shown at the same time. And then the hero, which has the score counter and it used to have an image, I just put it up top, made it sticky to the top. And I took the questions, put them in their own section. And what I ended up doing, and this is what I also did for the, the fish tinder project, is for all of these CMS items, I gave them an absolute position so that they all end up being on top of each other. And how I move them out is for when a question is answered correctly, it pulls up this answer div. So once you click on the correct answer, there's a little bit of code that shows this. Uh, let me show it for you guys too, so you can see it. So once somebody has answered the question, these two divs show up the answer and the next question div. And when you click on next question, it does an animation that specifically targets that question item and moves it out of the way um, to reveal the next question. And I like that just because I like having one question at a time. Uh, I could, certainly could have put them all together, uh, but I, I kind of like that you can only see one at a time. It kind of allows you to focus in on the, the shape of each of them. Another thing I did that's a little bit different is for each of these options, there was already like an is selected class, but I decided to add an is correct state and an is incorrect state that is turned on and off in the JavaScript as well. Um, the main difference here from the original clonable is this question image, right? So what is actually going on here is I'll dive into the CMS, I'll hit questions. So in each of these, it's pretty similar to the original state, except there is an image question field and an image answer field. And in each of these, I've put in the line image 
in the answer image. So what I have in Webflow is I have this image wrapper for my question and answer images. I have an answer image and the question image both in there with an absolute value. So they're stacked on top of each other. I have the answer image as a default um, in front, and I have also given it an opacity of zero. So what's going on in the code is when the answer is clicked, the opacity goes to 100 along with all the other items they end up getting shown. I can also show you the code too if you're interested, this, this little thing that I ended up tweaking. Um, do, 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 little code things. One of the things was the particles script. So in that preloader, threw those particles in there. That's what's going on up here. So the main things I ended up changing in here is the image. So this is the function that's uh, basically controlling what happens when you click on an option in the quiz. And I added, when you click on the option, find the answer image also and add the class of correct image. So when you add that class, it changes the opacity to 100. Um, another thing I did in here is add those classes to the options so that it shows red or green um, if it's correct or incorrect. And honestly, that was pretty much all I changed. One thing I, I did remove like the sound from the questions because it didn't quite fit with this quiz specifically. Um, and visually, another thing I uh, changed was, you know, putting this up here, which just had it be sticky. Also the preloader, Nothing too special about the preloader. It's kind of standard. Um, one thing I did want to check is this hero, when you add the class is complete, is that it looked kind of different earlier when I had it live, but it looks pretty normal now. So I don't know what happened. Oh well. One of the tricky things about this was figuring out how everything was gonna work on mobile because obviously it's going to be similar where things stays at the top this whole list thing stays at the bottom and you swipe it through um but i i did have a little bit of trouble when you were clicking on options um i didn't want you to click on it and then have to scroll all the way down to find out if it was right or not um so that is why on mobile the answer classes when they show up, they are actually sticking to the bottom here within an answer wrapper div. And so this is sticky to the bottom. And there are a few <laughs> issues with that. Like, I'm not sure if it's working on all mobile browsers. So if you see any issues with that, hit me up and I will try to figure out how to make it right for you. Cause it's something I haven't quite understood yet. So yeah, did I change anything to this while we've been looking at it? I don't think so. If I look here, if I hit start, boop, 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 I'm gonna get all these wrong. I know this looks like a banana and it's the silliest looking constellation, though I have seen some that have like a line that has a little fin out here and that makes it a little more obvious. Um, but it is a sea monster, sea monster banana. Anyway, um, now it looks fine. Okay, well, that was kind of weird. Anyway, that's what it is. Um, am I planning on adding more constellations to this quiz? Yes, I would love to. So um, if you clone this in the future, this number might be more than 15 because I do want to add more and kind of use it on myself because there's so many weird constellations out there. One thing I did want to do while I was here is get rid of uh, this image thing. So let me just take that out real quick. Hope any, any nothing broke. Me, 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 me. Oh, okay. All right. Now it took it out. Um, yeah. Not that I didn't like that face or anything. I just didn't know what else to put there. So that's the quiz. I hope you liked it. I'm really stoked about it, but I'm mostly stoked about it because I'm such a big um, astronomy nut. Uh, so yeah, if you have ideas on how you can use this or use this sort of quiz format, I this will be a clonable if you want to, you know, do a different kind of quiz too. So that 
is pretty much it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was uh, helpful to you and that you learned something from it. I obviously couldn't have done this without Timothy Ricks making that original video about how to make a Webflow quiz. So if you are subscribed to me or watching this video, you've probably already seen Timothy Ricks somewhere on the YouTube sphere. So I feel like I don't even need to tell you, but if you, for some reason, do not, go get over there and um, subscribe because he has some really valuable stuff. Um, if you are here for the first time, my name's Casey. I am a designer and developer. I make stuff. I really enjoy designing and making stuff on the internet. Uh, I also am a singer songwriter and you can find my music out there in the world too. Uh, yeah, so that's a little bit about me and I don't have anything else to say. So if you have anything else to say, please let me know down in the comments. If you have anything else you'd like to see me build or have questions, let me know. Would love to answer those too. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, no, nothing else to say. I'll see you later. Goodbye.